Today we are demonstrating the M3660 REM Regen Energy Monitor. The purpose of this is to be able to connect this to an installed drives DC bus and to be able to monitor the regenerative energy presented during overhauling or deceleration cycles of a drive and a process. Uh, first we're going to show you how to connect it and then we're going to go and show you how to operate it. First we're going to connect 110 volt power from the wall and then we have the positive and negative leads that connect directly to the load bank. So if you have a braking transistor and resistor already installed, you'll connect this unit, positive and negative leads, directly to the resistor after the transistor. Then we have a current clamp that we connect around the DC bus cables that go from the transistor. <clears throat> on off switch and we're going to turn it on now and now we're going to look at the menu. Now we're going to talk about the uh, menu and the display and the different menus you have. When you first power up hit the on button and you're going to have three menus. One that shows you records and this is a record of the regenerative energy and the events that you do when you're monitoring the DC bus for regen and then you have a configuration which sets this up and configures it and then you also have to where you can clear records and start all over again this will this will monitor one event and tell you what the one event regen energy was and it will also monitor over a period of time cumulative regen energy from the total events so let's go to records you have two menus and records. You have events and lifetime stats. And that's pretty much what I just explained. You can look at a single event or you can look at the cumulative regen for multiple events over a period of time. Then you have the configuration menu. And that can set the date and time. And that can set the, the uh, current clamp voltage also. Right now we have a scale of 200 amps. Then we move to the clear records menu and that's pretty much self-explanatory. It will clear a single event record or it will clear out all the data from the, from the monitor and you can start all over again. Okay, now we're going to show you an actual regen energy test. Uh, for the purposes of our test, we have a braking transistor connected, we have a load bank, although any transistor resistor that you have connected to your DC bus will work, you can use this with an already connected braking solution, and the purpose for that is to actually see if you possibly have more regen and could use a line regen as opposed to a braking solution where energy is wasted in the resistor. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to, go, we're going to go ahead and energize the load bank and bring it up. And we're going to monitor the output of the transistor going to the resistor, to the load bank in this case. As you can see, the uh, parameters of the regen come up right now. We have a 760 volt DC bus. Uh, 5 amps and the loads at 23 percent and right now uh, we're doing uh, we would be breaking now we're going to actually look at the regen event we just recorded you start at the power up menu which shows you status and standby then you go to records which we're already on, you select records and we're actually going to look at events and this shows you the parameters for the regen event we just accomplished. Shows you the energy in kilojoules, it has a regen event number, average current, peak current. Gives you the date of the event, the time and the length of the actual regen energy event. 
So what you can do is you can take this information and you can determine if your braking solution is adequate or if possibly you need more dynamic braking or you could use a line regen for your regen profile. Also, if you don't have a braking transistor and resistor connected to the drive in the DC bus, you can provide a load bank with this unit and use it without the, without the braking transistor and monitor regen events if you're trying to determine what kind of regen solution you might want.